Hi fellas, fellerettes, and welcome back to another World of Tank replay with me, Baz, and this time I'm a Malinovka platooned up with my mate MLG Potato, who as you know if you follow my uh, replays on YouTube, well, no, we call him Spud. So I'm in my RHM Borsig Waffenträger, and he's in his T28. So moving out of the cap area, I want to get into a position where I can use my binos and my camo net. Now, I'm using the 128mm gun. I've got 14 normal rounds of ammunition loaded up and 14 gold and 2 HE. So we've seen the awful panther over there. We can't get a shot on him at the moment. The early learning centre is making a suicidal run across uh, round about D78. And here he comes. Am I going to get a shot on him? Put a shot into the awful panther for 445. I'm spotted by the early learning centre. I get hit once by the E25 and the early learning centre gets ammo wrecked. Will he ever learn? <laughs> anyway, we're 3-1 up at the moment so I'm moving forward trying to get to this ridge and use the bushes as cover and get my uh, camo net uh, activated so I'm cloaked and put my binos to good use. We can see Spud has already got his first kill. Good on you Spud. Working well. And we've seen the awful panther coming across again. But we can't get a shot on him. He's behind the hill there. The T-44 and I think it's um, is it T-32? I don't know. One, one, T-32 I think it is over at um, H1 stopping our guys getting over there so it's just a game of patience now uh, we've spotted the WZ111 and an IS3 WZ111 is heading back towards the base we put a shot into him and we set him on fire nice 670 damage in one shot there's the awful panther again put another shot into him trying to set him on fire as well and there's the WZ111 again. We take another shot at him and we only track him this time. But he's disappeared so I'm reloading. And I put another shot in the general direction where he was but he'd already repaired his track and moved on. So we're trying to help out the T71 here because that's who he's gunning for. We put another shot into him for 438 but he's still coming forward waiting for my reload and we did no damage to him on that one now I've been spotted so it's time to get down and it's probably him who's actually spotted me and he's got a hard on for RT-71 so I'm going to try and support him as much as I can and now I've recloaked I'm moving back up again to try and get a shot onto this WZ-111 and help out RT-71 He's down to 118 hit points. But he's doing his best to try and get into cover and stay alive for us. And the WZ-111 is still hunting him down or trying to hunt him down. But while he's there he's proxy spotting him as well so he's open to uh, other enemies firing at him. WZ-111 is trying to poke up and uh, keep him lit. But we've also got a uh, battle going up on the hill as well. So here comes the WZ111 again. Comes up too slow, or too far, and I put one right under his belly. Take him out. Time for me to get down now. The T71 says, thanks RHM, that wasn't a problem mate. I was trying to cover you anyway. I just needed that shot before I could do anything about it. And once I got the shot, we got him. So we've got the IS-3 coming down the hill now, heading towards our Jagdtiger 88. Take a shot but miss unfortunately, so I move back down while I reload. And I'm running out of normal ammunition now, I've only got four rounds left. And here's the T-44. He's coming in on the 
the Agto Rotor 8 as well. Put a shot into the T44, but all I do is a critical and track him. So I'm waiting for the reload. T44 moves forward, so I take out the IS-3. And still waiting now for the T44. Two normal ammunition shells left. Nine and eight it is to us at the moment. I've done two and a half thousand damage, just over. I've got one normal round of ammunition left. And I'm spotted. Here comes the Jag Panther. So I put a shot into him, move towards him. I've got a rotating gun, turret uh, type gun. He hasn't, he's turretless, so go for the I don't know where the hell that shot went. But I was aimed in on him. And the shot just went somewhere else. I don't know where it went. But having said that, I wasn't uh, zoomed in uh, in sniper mode, so I could have just shot straight over the top of him, which was unfortunate for me, but never mind. Got AMX 5100 over there. He's been giving our guys a bit of grief, so we finish him off as well. That's our third kill. And Spud is also on three kills, so that's our brothers in arms if we can say stay alive. The T-71 is uh, trying to dish out orders and everything. But uh, not actually listening to him. He did actually die, unfortunately. But he's saying good game, guys, now. And it's 13-9. In our favour, I've done 3,259 damage. Win 8 if you're interested in that, guys. There's a top right hand corner. 3,150 at the moment. So I'm going up into the trees and the bushes here. So I can hopefully recloak and use my binos to locate the Type 59. Because he's around here somewhere. He's just taken out one of our arties. And the arty was behind me at H7H8. He's around here somewhere. He's got to be close. He's probably gone past me somewhere. There he is. We've spotted him. He's moving. Put a shot into him. We've finished him off. But as you can see now, we've only got gold ammunition left. And I just realised that uh, it's the Lorraine 155-51 that is left. So, I don't know where he is, but I have a feeling he's coming up the hill. Because he's pretty fast. I want to be in a position where I can take a shot. Now I haven't changed over to uh, HE. He could shoot past me at any moment. Uh, and he does actually complain about it actually. And there he is. We spotted him. So I haven't got time to load up HE anyway. So I've still got a gold shell in there. Uh, I've got four kills. Spud has got three. So that's seven between us so far. And if we can take this guy out. Then we do. So that's eight kills between us. And as we can see, wow, gold on an arty, good job. Right guys, post game stats for the battle you've just seen in the RHM Borsig on Malinovka. We got our first class mastery badge, uh, fighter, because we killed four or more, uh, fire for effect and bruiser. We also got brothers in arms uh, due to the fact that uh, MLG Potato, my mate Spud, he got three kills and I got five. So we got eight between us. And I got a high caliber medal as well. We can see that the credits I earned was 52,260. And the XP that we received was 3,626. That was my daily double. But that is also with a premium account. Got at the team score. You can see we're top of the tree with the damage. We got the high caliber medal for 3,724 damage uh, that we put out. And five kills and our base XP was 1,209. We can see that uh, their top player was their artillery piece, the 15551, uh, Killer Dan. Uh, I did actually message him uh, after that, or um, well, earlier on, uh, due to his message that I couldn't reply to during the battle because the battle had already ended, where he moaned that I fired gold at an artillery piece. But I've invited him to look at the, the replay to show him that I'd actually run out of normal ammunition and I was only firing gold because that's what I had left and didn't have time to change over to HE for him. Um, so he's been invited to ch uh, check out the replay. If he does, then fine, he may comment, he may not. But uh, the option's there for him. Uh, and so is the proof, proof in the pudding, so to speak. Detailed report. Shots fired is 18, direct hits 13, 
penetrations 10 and damage 3724. We received two hits with two penetrations and we also received one splash damage. Uh, we spotted two enemy vehicles, uh, we damaged eight and we destroyed five. If you like what you see guys please click like and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do, it all helps and I can bring you more replays uh, as soon as possible. Uh, so take care out there, we'll see you again soon.